Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. Tom Top sent me this great little guitar kit. It's a Tele style semi hollow body kit. It's got a basswood back, a banding around the edge with a veneer top. And I'm going to show you how to do the finish on this guitar using all water base acrylics and including a polyurethane water base gloss finish. Everything being hand applied, no spraying or anything. You can do this at home. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start out with, of course, sanding. And you're going to want to take some hand paper. I'm using 220 right here, and I'm bringing the sides down to be flush with that banding. Also knocking a little off the rounded edge. Now using a sanding block, I'm going to start taking the wood down flat and just sand in the same direction as the grains. And I went from 150 to 220, bringing this down. We're ready to start painting the guitar to do our, our stains onto it. So what I want to do first is put a some painter's tape around the edge uh, covering the banding. Now, I've never done this before, so we'll hope that helps, but it, it's sure not going to hurt anything. Putting this tape on proved to be a bit of a trick, just handling the, the edging of it. You're using the acrylic paint, you're going to start with the squirt and then add some water. You're mixing this up to a consistency of not much thicker than the water itself. It's now a stain. Using a clean cotton rag, start rubbing it into the wood. Now I'm starting with 100% yellow and water. And I'm going to work this into the wood all on the entire body. Now I'm going to move to orange acrylic and I'm going to add it to the yellow. This is going to give you a very yellow orange. And while you're doing this, you're just taking it just up a notch from the yellow. And then using a dry rag, clean it and go to the next layer of orange. So I'm going to add a little more orange to that same yellow and I'm going to rub that around the outside. And as you can see, as you get it on, to the wood, you come back with the dry rag and you just kind of rub that into the surface. Now you, it's a progression of that orange and yellow. And now I'm adding red into that mix. So this is getting closer to a true orange, but it's giving you that soft glow. I'm going to come back with some of the yellow back on the front and rub that back in to help smooth it out. And Trust me, when you rub this in, it starts to break up some of that other paint and it allows you to get that soft sprayed looking edge into it. What you're seeing right now is a little, little rough looking, but as you keep working it in, it starts to really soften that. Now I'm going to go to 100% red and start rubbing that around the edge, but now this is going to melt back into that orange so it won't be as vibrant of a red, which is not what I want. I want this to be more of a, a yellow to orange burst. I'm going to come back one more time with a little bit thicker in the red and then rub that down in there and come back and buff it off with a clean cloth. I was disappointed with the tape. It did not work as well as I'd hoped getting it off of there. You can see there's some bleeds, ugh, even wet. I'm not going to worry about that edging for now. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to sand a little bit on some of that edging to see if I can clean some of that off, anything that's still on the wood. Now I'm going to mix up just 100% black paint with water, making a black stain. And I'm going to rub this into the wood the exact same way I did on the, the face of the guitar.
Now taking, after it's dried, I'm going to take the sanding block and I'm going to sand that down. I can feel that it's raised the grains. And uh, that's my bad because I thought about and I should have probably used a pre-stain that helps to raise those grains to where you can sand them off and they won't come back up again. But I didn't on this and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost me. I'm going to have to do some work to, to smooth those back down. And I'm going to have to put a lot more time into sanding the edge down. I'm going to try the tape one more time and go around and try to secure this down to protect it. Now putting a couple boards down and a towel to kind of elevate the body. I'm going to apply a second coat of the paint onto the edge and I mixed up more of a mahogany or a reddish dark actually taking some of the red and putting straight black into it and using what's called a Fitch brush I'm gonna paint around the edging of this this is a little thicker it's still thin but it's a little thicker than I had applied onto the the back before after finishing those edges up I'm gonna apply the stain to the back of the guitar completely covering it coming back with a clean cotton rag I'm gonna start rubbing from the center out to start pulling the wood grains back out of the wood I'm not gonna rub the sides just the back Okay, now that I've let that dry, I'm going to pull the tape off of it, and this performed much, much better. I think we're ready to, uh, to put some of the, the clear on it. But I'm going to take a single edge blade, and I'm going to scrape around the banding. This is going to help remove any extra paint that's ended up on the sides. Be careful you don't want to scratch into what you've painted or stained. And I still have some small marks around the edges that I'll try to use a razor to clean up. I'm not as happy with that edging as I should be so I'm probably gonna put a pinstripe around it too. But I'm going to put a coat of clear on first. So giving it a sand with 500 grit and wiping it down. So I'm going to be using this uh, polycrylic from Minwax. It's a or water-based um, clear. So everything I've done on this so far has been water-based acrylics. And now I'm going to use a water-based clear on top and around the sides of it as well. So Now we can start applying the... Uh, polycrylic clear. I'm using just a, a fine bristle brush and just applying a very very simple coat to the front. I'm gonna flip it over. I've done my edges. I'm gonna put a coat onto the back as well. After getting my coat on this I have to say it is splotchy looking. I'm going to come back now. I'm going to apply some pinstripe tape around that edge of the lower part of the banding where I just wasn't happy with that edge. And this is kind of going to give it kind of a unique look and I like how that's going on. I waited to put this down between one of the clear coats because I want to come back with the clear and put more coats over the top basically locking it in to the paint. Now I'm going to come back, give this a light sanding, wipe it down with a damp rag, flip it over, clamp it, and do the same. I do have to say, 
after it dried it was much smoother but I'm gonna apply another coat and after letting that set up for about 10 minutes I'll flip it over give this side a light sanding and do it again Now this paint or the clear has been allowed to dry for about 24 hours. I must say I'm really surprised after about six coats it's really pretty clear. So now I'm going to use some paint thinner and 1000 grit wet dry sandpaper and just take the shine off of this. Wiping that down with a, a clean cloth, getting it ready. I am going to use a paste wax or a paste finishing wax and hand rub this into the finish. Now I'll let this dry for about 15 minutes and I'm going to come back with a cotton rag, a clean one, and hand buff this out and you actually will be amazed how uh, shiny that back is turning out. I'm really got to tell you, I'm surprised. So now let's flip it over and we're going to do the same thing to the front. Once again using some paint thinner on 1000 grit sandpaper. I'm going to just take the shine off that front, wipe it clean, and hand apply the wax again. After you've rubbed the wax in, you want to walk away from it for about 15 minutes to let the, uh, the wax dry into the surface. Now that it's had a chance to dry, I'm going to come back on this one and just using a clean cotton rag, I'm going to hand buff this out. It's actually starting to, to buff out really nicely. And I do have to say it's, it's shining up really well. I have to say I was really pleasantly surprised at how well this turned out using all water-based paints and clear coat on this guitar body. And uh, you know, if you're in an area that you have limited space or even limited tools, this is a great way to go. So what do you say uh, we put this bad boy together? Mm -hmm.